everyone. I'm Kelly Sanabria, the founder and CEO of FemWorking, and we're here with Radiance Harris today, who is the founder of Radiance IP Law, and this is part of a series that we are working on here at FemWorking about photos, and today we're talking with her about how you can use photos legally for your business. So we're thinking about blog posts and um, social media posts, and let's talk first a little bit with Radi Radiance. Let's get to know her. Obviously, you can see by her outfit, she is a girl just like us. Fabulous, and I can personally vouch for how cool she is and, and what a chill girl she is. So I'm so happy that she's our guest and she's able to talk about this with us today. Radiance Harris is the founder and managing attorney of Radiance IP Law. She focuses on helping individuals, entrepreneurs, and small businesses around the country to protect their intellectual property and business assets. Specifically, her practice encompasses trademark law, copyright law, entertainment law, and a wide variety of business and commercial contracts. Radiance is a frequent speaker and published author on intellectual property, branding, and related topics, and has been recognized by clients, colleagues, and legal publications as an up-and-coming leader in the intellectual property field and the legal community both locally and nationally. And so we want to point out, because Radiance is a, a lawyer, and she is very smart with all of these things, we have to put a little disclaimer in here and say that this material is for informational purposes only, both the blog post and this video, and it does not constitute legal advice. This material also does not create an attorney-client relationship between you and Radiance Harris or Radiance IP Law. So welcome, Radiance. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me, Kelly. I'm very excited. Okay, so we're going to start today talking about Creative Commons. This is when you're thinking about using pictures for your business, one of the first things that comes up, and I've seen a lot about this Creative Commons thing. So can you tell us what it is. Can you give us a brief explanation of Creative Commons and then can you tell us how it fits in with us entrepreneurs being able to use photos in our blog posts and our social media? Sure, great question. Uh, so the Creative Commons is a nonprofit organization that offers public access to free, easy to use licenses to creative works, which includes photos, um, where the artist who owns the copyright in the work determines the conditions and restrictions for using and sharing those works. And so in other words, in most cases, the artist maintains ownerships in the photos, but gives the public, or in this context, you as the entrepreneur, um, limited rights to use and share those photos. So when using these photos in your blog posts or on social media, you simply need to abide by the specified terms of the license. Okay, that's okay. awesome. And so I know when I was working on, um, we, we were doing another blog post and we are working on different um, photo sources for people and so I started to notice that there were different terms that people would attach to those uh, within their Creative Commons licenses and there were terms like uh, all Creative Commons, commercial use allowed, modifications allowed, which would be like if you're going to edit your pictures in like PicMonkey or Canva or if you're going to put your brand, your logo on the, on the photo itself, kind of stamp it. Um, commercial use and modifications allowed is another separate category and then no known copyright restrictions. So can you just tell us about these, you know, it's, it, they seem kind of straightforward when you think about them individually, but I think in the entrepreneur's mind, they can get really overwhelming because you're like, what does each one mean and what one do I need to use? So can you just tell us a little bit more about those terms? Yeah, absolutely. So the way Creative Commons works is that the artist chooses the conditions that they want applied to their photos. And then he or she gets a license, which indicates how you may, may or may not use that photo. So if you want to find Creative Commons licensed photos that you can use in blog posts, ads, news articles, etc., there's a search engine on the website, um, the Creative Commons website, and all of the photos should have icons, markings, indicating the scope of the license, which you must abide by, which I believe I said earlier. But to get down to like each of the different terms that you mentioned, um, all Creative Commons typically means that the photos have been licensed under the Creative Commons. So again, they're governed by these license terms. Commercial use allowed typically means that the photos may be used in connection with your business, so for commercial purposes. Um, modifications allowed typically means that you may, you may modify the photos. You may modify the photos um, in a way that you wish. I know different sites have different limits as to what modification means, but generally speaking, that's what it means. Um, and no known copyright restrictions typically means that the photos are in the public domain and can be freely used and exploited as you wish. 
Okay, awesome. So I know when we were working, like I said, we're you know kind of combed through the internet to find these blog photo sources, and the ones that I most highly recommend for entrepreneurs are the ones where the uh, artist has said, take this photo and do whatever you want with it. So basically, um, you know, commercial use allowed and modifications allowed, because I just think that for the entrepreneur, you know, we want sources where we don't have to think, we don't want to have to worry about all these terms, right? So we want right. the, the most liberally, um, you know, liberal license that we can have so we can just do whatever we want with it and, and have peace of mind knowing that we're not stepping on anybody's toes, we're not hurting another creative. And there are a lot of really great sources out there which are going to be in the in the fall, you know, the series of uh, photo blog posts that we're doing here. But um, I just really love the, the other creatives that come out and say, you know, like the CC0, the Creative Commons, the, the all public domain, which basically means this is my photo, do whatever you want with it, and, you know, go, go and make great things. Like, it's just awesome that other creatives say that. Um, some of the other artists and, and creators of images and photos do want attribution. So can you tell us what is attribution and how do I know if I need to attribute a photo, you know, um, or if I can just go ahead and use the photo without citing the source? Yeah, so attribution means that you can use the photos only if you give appropriate credit to the original creator or artist. For example, in a blog post, you would have to give credit usually by giving the title of the image, the name of the artist, the year if applicable, reference to the license, and also linking back to the artist's original photo, usually right underneath the photo or at least in close proximity to it. So typically down at the bottom of the page if the photo's up at the top is not really gonna work. <laughs> um, so it would usually say something like, um, image of Roger Rabbit from 1977 by Michelangelo, licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 international license. That's kind of the language that you would use underneath the photo for attribution purposes. Okay, so attribution is just basically giving credit to the person where the photo came from. Correct. And I feel like too, for entrepreneurs, this, this is important to know, even though I prefer to stay away from sources where I need to do this, it's important to know because sometimes there's just that one photo that's the perfect one and you have to use it for your post. So it's good to know that in those cases where they request attribution, we need to give credit where credit is due and we need to do it close right. to the photo. Correct. Um, and so going back to what I was talking about earlier, let's talk about CC0, I mentioned it earlier, or mm -hmm. um, public domain dedication. I see that a lot on the sites that I'm using, and what does that mean? So CC0 means no rights reserved. So essentially the creator has waived any and all rights, title, and interest in, those or in that photo, which has now become a part of the public domain. Therefore, you can freely use and exploit these photos without restrictions. So no attribution is required in that case. Absolutely, that's wonderful. I love, that's my favorite one, because like I said earlier, I just feel like I can go there and not have to worry about, about using uh, the photos and, and citing, citing the source and all that kind of stuff. Right. So um, to wrap this all up, my question for you is, as an entrepreneur, am I safe from copyright infringement when I'm using Creative Commons photos? So of course, um, there's always some risk involved when using third-party content, especially in this case where you cannot know for certain whether the person who applied for the license is the actual owner or was authorized to do so from the owner. Um, there's also concern if for photos that might be including uh, images of people, whether licenses were also you know, gotten in connection with the photo. So there are a few concerns there. That being said, although the risks may be you know, considerably lower for Creative Commons photos, it is important to keep in mind that Creative Commons licenses do not, does not protect you from getting sued. <laughs> um, but um, it does offer a relatively low risk, but not risk-free, user-friendly platform to access and use photos for various non-commercial and commercial purposes. I love that because it's like, there's always risk because you're using someone else's photo. You could just use your own photos. Um, you know, CC0 photos that are public domain dedication, photos that people have said, go and use this photo, you know. We're pretty safe there, we feel like, but there's always that little bit of risk. And I think right. my, you know, and I think any any lawyer would probably say this, right? It's about minimizing your risk. And so that's why the, the photo sources that I've recommended to entrepreneurs are sources where you don't need to attribute, you know, you don't need to worry about attribution. You, you can just go and use the photos, you know. And for the most part, we feel and we trust that we have been, um, we've been told that we can use those photos and that that's kind of a safe place to do that. 
And I think also that, you know, if people are doing things to the best of their knowledge and, you know, we, we're all respect creatives and, you know, want to do our best by them, you know, we should attribute, you know, have attribution when we need it. And if we don't need it, we don't have to worry about it. It's easier on us. Um, but I, I love that answer because there's a little bit of risk, but it's like, you're okay. Um, so I want to thank you. I know that I always feel nervous about using photos. I definitely felt nervous before we started this project. I was always like, what is this attribution and what is this restriction and what is this license? Like, it's just a little bit confusing. So I feel like, um, I have an education now about it and I can feel confident and I have amazing free visual tools that I can use to help grow our brand. So I'm really excited for that. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. How can people keep up with you if they liked what they saw today and they want to follow you and learn more about law for intellectual property or for entrepreneurs? How can they find you? For my website, of course, um, www.radianceiplaw.com. That's R-A-D-I-A-N-C-E-I-P-Law.com. You can also uh, like my Facebook business page, which is Radiance IP Law. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Periscope at Radiance Harris. And lastly, you are welcome to connect with me on LinkedIn as well. Awesome. Good to know. Thank you so much for being here. I really enjoyed the education. For those of you watching, we also have another blog post coming out. We're going to be talking about the best sources for your stock photos. And uh, I have ruthlessly combed through about every free stock photo source on the internet known to man. And I have picked the top sources for you based on whether or not we vibed with them and whether or not they were safe for you to use, which is what we've just talked about with Radiance. Um, I also have another post coming out that's about organization for entrepreneurs. So keep your eyes out for those. We'll put the links in this blog post below. If you're catching us on YouTube and you're a female entrepreneur, don't forget to sign up for our email list over at femworking.com so you never miss our great time and money saving resources and tips. And follow us on Facebook because we love connecting with people over there. And if you're on YouTube, I'll also put the links to this blog post uh, below the video so that you can go find it. And thanks for watching. My camera froze. And it's like the funniest face. <sighs> <laughs> I don't hear it. Good. Okay. Now where's my mouse? <laughs> <laughs>